Hey dudes, it's P-Dubs, and Team Encoder is back at it again, releasing another hack for Arcade 1-Up cabinets. This is the Fighter Droids hack that was just recently released. This hack is an input driver hack that is going to fix input lag on Arcade 1-Up's Street Fighter Big Blue, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom cabinets. Now, in this tutorial video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to do to do this hack to the Arcade 1-Up Big Blue. However, if you do own an X-Men vs. Street Fighter cabinet or a Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet, the steps are the same, but I invite you to check out the links in the video description below for Mike of All Trades as well as Mad Dads Gaming, who did tutorial videos for those cabinets specifically. Alright, step one is going to be to download files from the Team Encoder website. Don't worry, I'll have links in the video description below that'll get you here. This is the same website we've used to hack our countercades, our Infinity Game Table, our Arcade 1UP pinball machines, etc. You'll notice there's a new category labeled Fighter Droids, and it explains the input driver hack. To complete this hacker mod, you are going to need a micro USB cable, you are going to need a Windows PC or laptop, and you are going to need to download the Fighter Droid software, which I'll show you. The website link also has step-by-step -step written instructions to do this hack or mod in case you need to cross-reference them or use them in any way. For you visual learners, let's continue. As you scroll down their webpage, you'll see the download files that you need, depending on the cabinet. These download hack mod files are specific to these three cabinets. If you try to mix and match one of these files with a different cabinet, you might end up screwing up your cabinet. So make sure you download the correct one. We're going to click on Big Blue. You'll notice the files are going to come over as a zip file via Mega. Just a simple basic download is all you need. And if you have fast internet like I do, one gigabyte download speed, it's going to download the entire zip file in just a matter of seconds. All right, step number two is to extract our files. I did download them to a folder on my desktop. I'm just going to right click on them and using 7-zip or any other extraction tool, I'm just going to extract them to this folder on my desktop. Should take just a matter of seconds for the files to extract, and then it should look like this when you're completed. You'll notice that what we need is this application right here, Keep that in mind. Now it's time to move over to the arcade cabinet. Okay, it's time for step number three. What you're going to want to do here is on the back of your PCB boards on these fighting game cabinets, there is a micro USB port, usually right next to the power supply port. What you're going to want to do is grab a micro USB to USB cable, such as this one. Make sure it's a 2.0, of course it should be. And go ahead and plug in the micro side into the USB port on the PCB. You'll see it goes in right there. Now I did remove the power cable in order for my fat fingers to have access to get that micro USB thing plugged in because it's at a weird angle, but it's okay now to go ahead and make sure that your power cable is plugged into that port, as well as it's okay to have this plugged into the wall or power strip. But do not, under any circumstance, plug this side of the USB cable into your PC or laptop just yet. Wait until you are instructed to do so. Okay guys, we made it to the fun part, and that's actually installing the drivers on our PC as well as on the arcade cabinet. You're gonna open up your hack files, you're gonna go ahead and launch the application, it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna launch the application? You're gonna say yes, and then this window's gonna pop up right here. Let's zoom in so you guys can see this easily. And it's gonna say, hey, blah, 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 it's got some funny messages, etc. What you're gonna wanna do, again, we still haven't connected the USB cable to our PC from the arcade cabinet yet. Still, you don't want to have it connected. Click on option number one, install drivers. This will install the drivers onto your PC. You'll get a nice little pop-up message letting you know when that's finished. Once it finishes, you can click that exit button, get rid of that window, we don't need it. Option number two, install the mystery hack to the PCB is now available. You're gonna go ahead and click on it, but keep in mind guys, we still haven't connected the USB cable coming from the arcade cabinet to our PC or laptop yet. You have to click this button first, let the software do its thing, and then it will ask you. It'll say waiting for PCB to be connected. Now is when you connect that cable to your computer. Okay, so we've made it to step five, and that is connect your USB cable to your PC or your laptop and go ahead and power on the arcade one-up cabinet. You'll hear your Windows PC bing, ping, ping a bunch of times as it connects with the PCB. 
it's going to verify the PCB, it's going to flash it. Keep in mind, doing this mod will essentially factory reset your machine, so once it's done, you're going to have to, you know, re-enter your Wi-Fi, internet credentials, and just log back into your account. Don't worry, you're not going to lose your fighting record or things like that. After it connects, it's going to download a whole bunch of stuff, and it's probably going to reboot your machine as well. In fact, as it goes through the flashing and installation process, when it gets to 100%, as you can see, it takes a little while for it to get to 100%. After it gets to 100% and does its magic, it's going to ask you to power your cabinet on and off. After you toggle your cabinet power on and off, you're going to see a new pop-up that says, do you want to allow USB debugging? You're going to navigate with the Player One joystick, move down, the gray box is going to be kind of highlighted. You're going to hit the player one start button to select it, navigate over to OK using the joystick, hit the player one start button again, and it'll go ahead and launch your machine. Even though the cabinet boots up and even though that Wi-Fi window boots up, don't do anything. Just head back over to the, your PC or your laptop. You'll notice that it once again automatically reconnected to the software and let it do its thing. It's going to run through and get all the last little things installed onto the system, onto the PCB, and you need to wait until it's finished before you do anything further. The cabinet itself might reboot several times as it goes through the process of debugging and installing all the drivers, all the files, etc. After you watch the glorious miracle of the cabinet rebooting itself several times and running all these files automatically, You'll get a message here that says the uh, input drivers are running just fine because it does a final check. It says we're done here. Guess what? You're done with the hack. You can unplug your cables from your PC and the micro USB port on the cabinet. With the hack mod completed, you're going to want to log back into your Wi-Fi or Ethernet on the arcade cabinet. You're going to want to log back into your arcade one up account so you don't lose your fighter statistics. It'll probably prompt you to download the latest Arcade 1UP firmware update, so make sure you download the latest update as well. You're not going to lose this input driver fix in that firmware update, so it's okay to update. And you'll notice now, and I'm trying to get a shot of the buttons as well as uh, the game, you'll notice now that you have much, 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 much less input lag, practically none, playing on this arcade cabinet. So this is a fantastic job. Job well done by the Team Encoder folks. Considering the number of online competitive gamers I anticipate to be using this mod, if you want to make sure you still don't lose that competitive edge, you're probably going to want to do this as well. Once again, big shout out to Team Encoder. Hopefully this tutorial video you guys found beneficial. If you did, share it with your friends. And of course, let me know your comments, feedback, and reactions below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.